is Jungkook still our golden maknae? Everybody wants to be like a damaged little girl with daddy issues and like everything's like long and coated and I'm just like, hmm. Hashtag let Jungkook bitch, he's a grown ass man. If he wants to shake a little ass on stage, he can shake a little ass on stage. The Swifties versus the Violets bitch. Obviously bitch, I'm a Violet, the fuck. Cause people were saying like Lana shouldn't have never won. Yes, the fuck she should have. Can we please talk about the nasty old men who are also trying to be Lana Del Rey coated? It's disgusting. Please sit down and like it's giving creeper status. It's giving ill like, one of my favorite white boys is still Dylan O'Brien. Like, obviously, like, I don't think that would ever change, like, forever, ever, and ever. And that being said, Logan Lerman, even though Justin is so annoying and I can't stand him, I don't even, like, live for Hailey Bieber. However, the way he treats her like literal shit makes me want to literally be pro Hailey and, like, literally be her friend and take her by the hand and say, bitch, leave him. Hey, my bitches. Hey, my besties. Hey, the loves of my life. How y'all being girl? I've been through it. Our hair growth update was see girl. Bitch, we got a lot to talk about. First thing we need to talk about is uh Jungkook. Y'all know I'm gonna sound well when it comes to John Cook. I literally can't deal with him. Like, I can't deal with him. I can't talk about him for too long because literally, like, I get overwhelmed talking about John Cook because this man is just crit. Like, <sighs> the topic of this one is Is John Cook still our golden Machne? I don't even think they should have put like that title on him in the first place. So I feel like it's very damaging. Stop holding him to this unrealistic standard. Like, nobody's perfect. Stop putting pressure on him to be how you want him to be and not be himself. For all these years, bitch, like the BTS, like they were like this poster child for K pop and they had to be perfect and never make mistakes. And they had a reputation to like withhold. Now, like, they're getting more comfortable and like being themselves more and being more open. And we're seeing all like their quote unquote imperfections basically them just being normal human beings and like these bitches can't handle it if you love jungkook you'll accept him point blank period if you don't and like you want to cry about him be a baby bitch go cry about somewhere else hashtag let jungkook bitch he's a grown-ass man if he wants to shake a little ass on stage he can shake a little ass on stage if you want to talk about like do that one day or seven days a week you know getting with a girl he can do that let jungkook you know what i'm saying if you want to act up now when they get back on tour and bts start um doing tours and being active again bitch don't don't fucking take the motherfucking seats up and um trying to sell out the motherfucking stadiums bitch if you want to talk all your shit right now save those seats for the bitches who actually love and care about bts bitch because i want motherfucking seats Bitch, and if it gets sold out because you bitches want to all change your mind all of a sudden girl zone zone do it zone do it this is literally as good as it's gonna get i've been changing the camera angles around like bitch this is literally as good as it's gonna get like, the swifties versus the violets bitch obviously bitch i'm a violet the fuck because people were saying oh like lana shouldn't have never won american songwriter of the century yes the fuck she should have i'm so sorry like girl even if like, i was like a full-fledged swifty and whatever the case is i feel like there would be no beef because at least it's well deserved you know what i'm saying like okay Okay, I get y'all love Taylor Swift, but let's be realistic. This is not even to say that her music is bad, because it's obviously not. She's just an amazing artist. I do like her music. That being said, compared to Lana Del Rey, especially when it comes to songwriting, like Swifties don't come for me now, but like that's just some motherfucking tea. Like the fact that this is like a mini fan war right now is crazy because girl, give credit where it's due. I don't, I don't think no one should be getting like hate. First off, they're friends. Second of all, Lana don't really get recognition. People are very opinionated on her music and think that she's a bad influence so she don't really ever like get noticed for how amazing of an artist she is and then when she finally does it's given let her have her moment damn like i feel like american songwriter of the century is a big title however well deserved anybody should have won that shit definitely should have been Lana Del Rey. The whole Lana Del Rey thing brings us to our next topic, bitch. TikTok has brought in like a new wave of Lana Del Rey stands. It's like not giving real Lana Del Rey stands, just giving like surface level Lana stands, which is like, okay, period. It's just kind of like, where are these bitches come from? Everybody wants to be like a damaged little girl with daddy issues and like everything's like Lana coded. And I'm just like, hmm. And then like all of her like um really good um unreleased songs are like going viral on TikTok and it's like damn bitch like I did I'm not gonna lie call me greedy call me what you want bitch I low key did want to like gatekeep Lana's like it's Lana's like gems bitch like I'm happy that she's growing and you know getting more recognition for being a bad bitch but like I would be lying if I said like I just wanted her to myself like bitch I liked our little cute little tight knit you know what I'm saying fandom bitch but now she's like everywhere all her like like popular I guess unreleased 
unreleased songs like there's still like some really like hidden unreleased songs that haven't gone viral yet but like her like popular unreleased songs are like some of my favorite songs by her and now everybody in their motherfucking mama know these songs and i feel like i feel like a surface level on their race because everybody already knows these songs now i know some of y'all like is it a competition it is a fucking competition bitch y'all know that's my girl y'all know i love her it's a competition no, i don't give a fuck i want to get keep blonde so bad like violent kitty sent me these big lashes i want to see if they are I feel like this look is low-key like Priscilla Presley coded. Whoa. Humongous. Not today. I'm gonna try baby brat. I'm so mad because they sent me these one pair of lashes and they're so cute. But like I do this stupid ass thing where like whenever I get lashes, like I don't put them back in the case. I just rip them off and like lay them like somewhere. And now like they're almost all gone. And I'm like, why like kitty, please send me some more in divine to be specific. Those are also, can we please talk about the nasty old men who are also trying to be Lana Del Rey coded? It's disgusting. Like, it'd be like these nasty ass old men where like some young girl will comment under their TikTok and be like, OMG, you're so Lana Del Rey coded. And like they'll reply to the comment with like a Lana Del Rey song in the background and like try to act cute. Like, ew, you please sit down. Like it's giving creeper status. It's giving ew. Like it's giving teacher's pet. It's giving sit down somewhere. Like, I cannot stand when, like, older people on TikTok try to, like, appeal to, like, the younger audience or, like, Gen Z and, like, will, like, do things that they know Gen Z will, like, like. It's so weird to me, like, especially, like, the older men trying to be Londa Ray coded. Like, when that old man was, like, singing, like, Londa Ray songs, like, he was, like, a meme and he was singing Londa Ray songs. I, I thought that was weird from the get-go. And they found out that he was, like, a creep. I was, like, girl, I knew he was weird, like, from the jump. Like, I have daddy issues, whatever, and, like, I do like older men. But, like, it's, it's different when, like, they... They unintentionally give like daddy issues aesthetic and when they try to it's creepy and it's weird it's like ew it's like old men who try to like appeal to like little damaged girls who like they know have daddy issues and like they know like well like you know that's, it's just creepy like I'm, I'm i'm weirded out you know these are cute i like these these are cute violent kitty really hooked me up like i'm literally finding new lashes that i i like literally forgot i had like thank you thank you so much these these lashes are so good every single one i've tried so far has really been coming also thank you guys for 10k subscribers i love you guys i love every single one of you guys and you know that i love you these are maybe too big tell me why i was listening to amnesia i mean i don't hate it but like i feel like this is too big by uh, five seconds of summer and uh, i was like we're off gonna cry like this shit sad as fuck like i was a teenager back in like 2013 like when the song came out i would have been in shambles to listen to that fucking song i think I just, I just put it on like the end and it's it's cute i like it can we just talk about and really give credit where it's due when it comes to logan lerman being named the white boy of our century i am here for it i've been in love with him since the day i saw him still very much in love with him your girlfriend better or have you on a leash babe because if she does then it's fair game you know what i'm saying one of my favorite white boys is still don o'brien like obviously like i don't think that would ever change like forever ever and ever because like i was in love with him but um that being said logan lerman everything can we talk about how having ocd literally feels like you're gonna die every five seconds and, like you're just like in a constant state of fear it sucks if you have ocd i'm here for you i'm here with you it is literally one of the worst feelings just like constantly scared of everything it's definitely hard to live with and if you're still here you're a strong ass bitch and good things are coming i promise but if i'm staying here you gotta stay here too because we're in this together oh my gosh just the way people are like oh you know who should have an heiress toward justin bieber i promise you i've never been so adamant on going to a concert before in my life I couldn't miss it even though justin is so annoying and i can't stand him i used to be in love with him like i'm sure every little girl was at one point he had an eras tour oh my gosh that would be like one of the most iconic things in our generation and i could not miss it i literally remember when i was like i think like six i got his um my world album i can't remember if it was my world 2.0 or if it was just my world but i got his my world album the way me and my sisters like outplayed that cd that was my man i could have girl i was in love with him i promise you when i was a little girl i prayed for two things the first one was 
The second one was to marry Justin Bieber. So serious. Up until like the confident era. That's when like I stopped for, like thinking about Justin Bieber. I feel like he's a fucking weirdo. Like especially when it comes to like women. Mainly when it comes to women. Like he acts like a loser. Just not fucking cute. Like I don't even like live for Hailey Bieber. However, the way he treats her like literal shit makes me want to literally be pro Hailey and like literally be her friend and take her by the hand and say bitch leave him literally the pink shades in this palette is so good for blush i use it for blush i use literally all the pink shades this one this one and this one it's so cute like it's it's a sad case when it comes to justin because the little girl in me is still in love with him but like he is just so icky on like i can't deal if you know old selena music girl you are baddie and you a real one for real my first two albums ever in life justin bieber and selena gomez literally i think the album was called off the chain it was either called Off the Chain or it was called A Year Without Rain. I got that one and then I got On um, My World. Those were like my first two albums ever. And then later on in life, I got Blank Space. I got Blank Space. <laughs> or 1989. I literally used to be a Swifty. That's crazy. I wasn't like a big Swifty. I was just like a surface level Swifty. But like literally all her songs were like popular. So like I kind of was a Swifty. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I like did like a little like, like you know, moment right there. But I don't know if I love that now. It's okay. I feel like I look like Slappy, like the Goosebumps um, <laughs> ventriloquist doll. Like it's the way I sing Lose You To Love Me with my chest as if like somebody broke my heart and like she really talking about me for real. I mean, I guess it can relate to some parts of like, I don't know. But how many girls needed that song? Just like they needed Who Says. I love her. I was listening to Who Says the other day and I was literally crying. Because <laughs> like that song is so special ring is one of her best songs i might just mess this entire look up right now but like solo i guess i don't know i don't know what, what is going on in my cheeks for real selena said yeah i received your message all 23 <laughs> she saw the messages she didn't answer one of them like leave her alone boy i really wish that her and demi could be friends again like they were so cute So this is the final look. Do we like it? Do we like it? Do you like it? Okay. This is the final look. Do we like it? I think it's really cute. I like it. I think it's giving like Bratz doll. It's giving like cute alternative baggy. I love it. And I love you so much. Thanks for chilling with me. I love you so much. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And follow my socials. I love you. Thanks for 10k. You're the best. I love you so much.